most of marriage agency they mix the profile uh, of ladies who serve as a hook uh, with the profiles uh, of real ladies. Uh, so even if they have 100 ladies and 90 of them are like real and honest and 10 serve as a bait, 90% of, uh, of men will contact the, the, 10, the 10 who are here just to scam you. Do good girls in Ukraine go to marriage agency? That is the question of this video. And guys, to get an honest answer to that question is uh, almost impossible. But I'm sitting with one of the very few gentlemen, I believe, on this planet that is able to and willing to answer that question honestly. Uh, hello, Dema. Yeah, hi, Joe. How are you? <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for sitting with me today. You uh, own one of the largest databases of known scammers in Ukraine and Russia for 20 years, is that right? Yeah, that's true. So you've been helping out guys with a scammer check service for about 20 years? Correct. So you've seen it all in the scam world, in the marriage agency or mail order bride world in Ukraine, I would say. Correct. Yeah. So let me ask you straight up, do good girls go to marriage agencies in Ukraine? Oh, very seldom. Shocking, guys. Very seldom. So, Dima, why is that? Why very seldom do good girls go to marriage agencies in Ukraine? Uh, because uh, 99 of uh, marriage agencies of Ukraine uh, has a very bad, very very bad reputation. 99 percent. Yeah. Well, actually, the one the one per the one percent they know they don't know because they the the 99 percent create a bad reputation for all of them. So even. Uh, the few honest, uh, honest agencies, if they exist, the reputation is the same for them. Yeah, they, uh, you know, one bad apple spoils the box of apples, Correct. kind of thing. And uh, they don't make money either. They go, they go to business because they, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Those little ones. So, uh, let's talk about the profile of the good girl and why does she not go to marriage agency? Uh, let's start with how do how does this industry populate its database? Uh, of of girls, they do a a reclama, an advertisement, right, for free photo shoot, and then they're looking for the hot young things to come in, right? Yes, yes. Well, it's a way to attract uh, uh, ladies because they need very beautiful ladies. Uh, uh, so a uh, free photo shooting, yes, uh, they promise it, and uh, a girl is coming because uh, she, she needs uh, new beautiful pictures, and she is not she is not interested in. Uh, in international dating very often. Mm -hmm. She wants a free photo shoot. And uh, let's talk about why good girls don't go in and in, in, like drill down on this topic. Uh, let's say, for example, if we stop any passerby on the street here, man or woman of adult age in Ukraine, and ask them, what do you think about a marriage agency in Ukraine or the, this industry in Ukraine? What are they going to tell us for the most part? Oh, they will tell that uh, those are scammers. Uh, yeah, the, rep the reputation of uh, local agencies in Ukraine is awful. Help me understand, why does a good girl not want to or go to a marriage agency? What's her thought process? Oh, uh, because, uh, because she, she, she will think uh, that uh, uh, the only person uh, she can meet, it will be an, uh, a sex tourist or, an old, or a man who is uh, 30, 20, 30, 40 years older than her. Well, that she won't find the real real man who understands uh, that uh, all this uh, all this information about like models uh, very interested by men who are much older uh, it's, it's just fake so basically she doesn't believe in a result she doesn't think she's going to meet a good man for marriage no, no no and she's not a scammer she's not interested in uh, making money at this racket right she has her own career job whatever and she's a, a good person yeah Yes, correct. Are there a lot of, uh, you know, amazing, beautiful Ukrainian women that are single in Ukraine that are just looking for a good man? Is that true? Yeah, really a lot, really a lot. <laughs> but the hard part is how to find them, is that right? Yeah, that's not, it's, not, it's not easy. It's not easy, and especially if you don't speak the uh, same language with them. So, yes, it's difficult. Uh -huh. I agree. Uh, what's, uh, we were talking off camera, what is the statistic of... Um, Ukrainian ladies that are interested possibly in uh, marrying a foreigner? Uh, it's not more than 10%, uh, about 7 or 8%. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one reason why it's difficult for foreigners to come here, because they're not interested. Yes, well, imagine uh, if uh, like 
you go to the park and uh, you start talking to, to, to a lady, you have to talk uh, like to 10, 10 or 11 ladies uh, before uh, single ladies, because you, you can, <laughs> it can be a married lady, it can be a married who is in a relationship, so you have, you have to uh, like meet uh, 100 lady uh, on this, just on the street uh, to find one who is interested, not in you, just in uh, uh, international dating. And then how many of those, let's say you talk to 100 on the street, 10 might be interested in engaging you, uh, and then how many, how many of those maybe want to go to your country, or how many want to live in Ukraine, stay in Ukraine? Uh, actually, for most of them, uh, if uh, the man uh, asked, would you like to go to my country, or would you like, uh, or would you like me to live here with you, uh, she, they, they will reply, I will prefer for you to stay with me, because, well, it's a, it's a big challenge. Uh, uh, leave the family, friends, uh, learn a new la language, uh, have a new job. Uh, so yeah, they realize the and and they realize that life, on, like in Western countries, it's, it's it's not a paradise. Yeah, thanks for that. So I mean, the odds are stacked against us foreigners coming here and meeting good girls, and um, and then uh, being willing to relocate, and move to your country. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But uh, it, it also, it also, it also depends. Uh, for example, uh, if 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 a lady she has a, she has she has a child, she will also think well not about not about not only about herself but for, for the future for the uh, for the child. So it will be it will be a supplementary motivation for her uh, to go to go to live to the man's uh, to the country or, or the residence of the man. Mm -hmm. So if she has a child, maybe better chance because she wants a better life for her child. Yes, it's uh, well. Unions are much are much stronger if uh, a lady has already a child. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So at the end of the day, uh, what advice would you give to men if they want to meet a good girl in Ukraine? <laughs> since they don't go to marriage agencies for the most part, what what can a guy do? Well, first. Of uh, first of all, uh, f forget about the idea that uh, the lady will come to your country first. So you have to come to Ukraine. This is well uh, the, th the first the first uh, thing uh, you have to do, uh, and uh, probably find uh, uh, an agency, a real or non-agency. Well, there are very few of them, but they exist. Uh, so this is the only way for me. Yeah. So thanks, Dima, very much. Uh, great video. And uh, you heard it direct, guys. Be careful when you're meeting girls from an international marriage agency because most of them that come in uh, have hidden motivations, right? Yeah. That's what percent, on a final note, would you say of, you know, the average international marriage agency in Ukraine uh, of their database of ladies have uh, a hidden financial motivation? Uh, it's not uh the percentage is not important because uh well there are marriage agency uh most of marriage agency they mix the profile uh of ladies who serve as a hook uh with the profiles uh of real ladies uh so even if they have 100 ladies and 90 of them are like real and honest and 10 serve as a bait 90% of uh, of men will contact the the 10 the 10 who are here just to scam you. Yes, yeah, the curse of man. We all always want the gorgeous uh, young girls. <laughs> yeah, the curse of man. So they, and they, they they see that the profile that like other profile they look li real. So it creates the image uh, that uh, everything is like looks realistic. And of course they choose like the 10% uh, who are the most beautiful, and uh, they are hooked. They pay. They come, the girl, they, she meets, she meets, she's smiling, but in most of cases, she's just paid uh, mm -hmm. uh, to meet this man. Mm -hmm. So be careful, guys. Thanks so much, Dima. Yeah,